after you have opened Photoshop, grab the brush file and drag and drop it directly into Photoshop. This will load the brush that we want to use later. Now let's open a new document, make it the width to 8.5 inches, the height to 11 inches, the resolution 200 pixels, the color mode to RGB and the background color to a gray, then press create. Now bring in the background music image and resize to cover the entire canvas. Place in the far right corner and then click the check at the top to accept. Use the magic wand, while holding shift on the keyboard start with the treble clef. Click on the light pink section in the three-dimensional areas. Still holding shift select the bass clef. Next, select the purple and orange notes the same way. Switch to the lasso tool, and while holding Alt on the keyboard start removing unneeded selections made by the magic wand. When done click Ctrl J on the keyboard, this will make a copy of the selected notes on a new layer and now rename this layer to Music. Select the background music layer and drag in the focal image. Move the image to the very top and click the check at the top to accept. Next to the image layer, double click to open the layer style. On the drop shadow section, change the blend mode to multiply and the color to black. Make the opacity 75%. And the angle to 90 degrees. Now change the distance to 50 pixels. And the size to 75 pixels. Move up to the outer glow section and change the blend mode to linear dodge. The opacity to 50%, change the color to white. The size to 45 pixels, the range to 100% and click OK. Right-click on the image layer and select Copy Layer Style.
right click on the music layer and select paste layer style. Now we can start making our distressed background. Click on the eye next to the background music, the image and music layers to hide these layers. Above the background layer create a new layer. Rename the layer to shape. Select the paintbrush tool. Right-click on the canvas to reveal the brush options. Scroll to the bottom of the brush list and click on the arrow next to the folder named SG Paint Brush to reveal the different brushes in this folder. In this project we will be using the fifth brush down. Now change the size to 1457 pixels. And on the shape layer paint side to side leaving plenty of room away from the edge of the canvas as possible. Click on the empty squares next to the background, image and music layers to unhide these layers and also hide the shape layer. While holding control on the keyboard, select the music, image and the background music layers and go down to the bottom to the layers toolbar and click on the little folder icon. This will put these layers in a folder. Rename folder to images. Note that the little arrow will hide or reveal the layers within this folder. Now select the text tool. Choose the font you would like to use, align text to center and change to preferred color. I will use the eyedropper to match the text with a color on the canvas. Clicking anywhere on the canvas, I will type the word music and click on the check to accept. Hold Ctrl and T on the keyboard to open up the transform box around the text and while holding Shift resize the text as big as possible. Then move close to the bottom of the canvas. Now click the check to accept. Ctrl J on the keyboard to make a copy of the text layer and drag it under the original text layer. Change the color of this text layer to a darker color. I will use the eyedropper to match the colors here as well. Using the Move tool, drag the text slightly down so that only the edge is showing. Ctrl J on the keyboard to make a copy of this text layer and drag it under the previous text layer and move the text slightly below the above text. Repeat this process one more time and you will end up with a total of four layers of text. While holding Ctrl, select all of your text and go down to the bottom of the layers toolbar and click on the little folder icon to put them into a folder. Rename folder to text. Open up the text folder by clicking the little arrow next to the folder icon and right click on the bottom text layer and select paste layer style. Close the text folder back to hide layers.
keyboard hold control, point to the shape icon on the layers tab and click. This will make a selection around the shape layer. Highlight the images folder layer and go down to the bottom layers toolbar and select the mask tool, which is the rectangle with a hole in it. This will mask the folder to the shape we created earlier. Repeat this same process on the text folder layer. Open the image folder by clicking on the little arrow next to the folder. Holding Ctrl and Shift on the keyboard, click on the music and the image to make a selection around both. Now select the mask on the images folder and with a solid paintbrush using white, paint in the areas cut off by the shape. This will reveal the image without the light and shadow effects. Open the text folder and select all four layers to resize text so that it's close to the edge without going over. Now make a selection of all four text layers. Make sure that you hold shift and control when selecting each layer and paint the text back into the art. Now you can close both text and images folder, hide the shape and background then export this image as a PNG. Please let me know in the comments section if this lesson was helpful and also what Photoshop lesson you would like to see next. Until the next time make sure you smash that like button and if you are new to the channel and haven't done so already go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss out on future Photoshop lessons. Thanks for watching, I hope today's lesson was useful and I look forward to bringing you more content.